Hey guys, so our next topic is workflow analyzer. And in case you are very new and you do not have any idea around this, this video is going to help you. So let's get started. Now to understand this, first of all, let's read the definition of workflow analyzer. Okay. Workflow analyzer is a static code. What kind of a code it is? Static code analyzer that ensures your project meets high quality and reliability standards. That means you have created a project on your UAPA studio. You have created a project, let's say. Does it meet all the standards? Is it high quality and does it meet all the standards? If not, you must use analyze file. Okay, analyze file or analyze project. So this is what are the four different options are available. So analyze file means what? It is going to analyze only one single file. So in your project, you could have multiple XML files, multiple XAML files. Now out of that, let's say I am working on this. I just want to analyze this, then I should run this. If I have to run it on the entire project, then I should go for analyze project. It's going to take up all the XAML files that I have and it's going to run a you know, uh, analysis on all those. Okay. Does it all of them meets the high quality and standards or not? Okay. Validate file. This is for validation. This is for again validation errors. Okay. Any kind of a validation error. So we'll be focusing on the analyze file or analyze project. Now let's see. So what are, uh, what are this and uh, how do you, how does it really work? Okay. So this first sentence is clear. Workflow analyzer is a static code analyzer that ensures your project meets high quality and reliability standards okay that's all the important point now let's see what do i mean by high quality and standard let's say here what i have two log messages i have got this log messages are they all okay if you run it it's going to work right there will be no problem i be there will be no validation error it is going to work but are you meeting the standards of your ipath are you meeting are you really following all the standards uh, best practices you can use another word called best practices okay so you are not actually so how do i really uh, you know how do i really ensure once the project is created it does meet the standards so it has run okay without any error it has run okay that is fine there is no error nothing okay everything is fine so for this let me use analyze file there are two different options as i said you can go for analyze file or you can go for analyze project. So here I'll be just working on the file. So I'll hit on the analyze file. Just hit on this main button. Okay. So what has happened? It has given some errors. So let's understand what are they. How many log messages do I have? Two. So there is something called, if you see, look at it. ST stands for studio. Studio NMG stands for your naming convention. Naming convention, okay. Studio naming convention 004 is the error. And if you click on this, it gives you a detailed explanation as to what is this error talks about, what is this standard talks about, what kind of best practices you did not follow. So everything will have a link. You can click on that, and it's going to bring up the documentation page. Now let's look at it. Clearly tells you display name duplication. That means you have used the same activity with the same display name twice. Okay. And what is the recommendation? Make sure default names of activities are changed into more meaningful names and are not repeated throughout the workflow. Okay. It gives you the recommendation also. So um, in your um, exam, right? In your exam, um, if let's say if this is given to you, what kind of error will be thrown when you run the analyze workflow? Okay, so in such a question, you must know because I have used log messages twice. It is going to display what kind of an error? Log message display name is defined many times. Current allowed threshold is one. I mean, any activity with a display name should contain only once. You cannot have that same name repeated times. So that's why it's saying threshold is one. Code contains two. Clear? Now let's look at the other one. Okay, activity name default. Activity name default. Activity name default. These things will come when you have a default name. So by uh, by default, when you drag and drop an activity, it will have a default. Let's say sequence as a default name, log message as a default name, this as a default name. So, so this error also will come if you are using a default name. Okay, let's say log message one, log message one. For example, here I am going to type sequence 
and here let's say you are going to type one log message and here also i'm typing one log message so i have changed the name okay that mrd error won't come this mrd uh, mrd for the log messages won't come for sequence it will still come okay let me also change the sequence it's slightly slow i think yeah okay so i've changed all the names so what error or uh, what is that uh, error won't come when you run the analyze file is because you have changed the default name this activity name default activity name default make a note of this okay this error won't come you don't have to remember this code but this one is important the name activity name defaults won't come why why because i have already changed all the names the default names have changed that's why it won't come but here if you see one log message here also one log message so still one more one error would definitely come let me analyze file once again it will say what is that nmg004 display name duplication this will come okay log message display name is defined when this is the description you you should remember both of it okay log message display name is defined many times current allowed threshold is one so this must be clear to you okay let's go to go to another example this must be clear let's go to the <coughs> next example so in this example what you see there's a if activity i've used okay if activity i have used and then here if you see i have used a counter less than one and then probably the i would have given a counter value is equal to zero and then i have did not use this if activity at all so the sequence is completely blank this also will that means you are not following the best practice why are you having this activity when you are not using it it might possible while you are developing a complex project you might leave some of the activities just like that so what is the uh, proper exact uh, error will come let's see so just ignore all this uh, defaults okay um, activity name default because i have not renamed so it's okay what we are focusing is this one sd mrd 017 incomplete if okay if you need more details i don't remember that mrd full form just check the documentation incomplete if incomplete if empty if activity you should delete or comment it out that means it is telling you have used a activity if activity which is incomplete you have not used it okay this is also coming from a rule i will show you all those rules is this clear at the moment you should be clear let me show you analyze file and there is something called workflow analyzer settings okay you must visit this one okay now this is the workflow workflow analyzer settings so here there are a couple of static rules are already created okay so if you see for if activity there should be a static nested if um, let me see infinite loop okay infinite loop and then uh, nested if incomplete if do you see incomplete if sd mrd 017 if you highlight this it gives you an explanation if you want to learn more you can click on the link and learn more it will open up so incomplete if so this is what is exactly coming let me close this incomplete if you got it you now you have got a logical understanding let me see let me show you one more example okay here if you see there is a workflow here there is a message box don't worry about all that what is written now here is a flow decision and here it is connected to this activity and then it is connected to message box so there is a loop right it will come if it is true it will go there if it is true it will go there so what is not there here is false if it is false what would happen you have not defined it okay in such a case if you run the analyze file okay what is that uh, minimum log message i have not used that is one of the error because your workflow should have at least one log message it's not there so that will be one of the error for sure the other one is infinite loop what is this saying potential infinite loop detected in flow chart potential it's not saying it is a infinite loop potential uh, possible flow chart one starting with activity message box one okay so here it is saying from here there is a loop from here till here starting from message box one there is a loop getting it for one flow chart so this is also one of the so you should what so what is the objective of my i am teaching this for the exam you should be aware of all of it okay not all of it at least the important ones okay the basics one at least you should be aware so what you should do at least go through all of this empty use outlook project workflow just go through the titles at least empty workflow means what consider removing unused files okay empty workflows and that means xaml files you have kept 
delay activity usage you have incomplete activity within the process consider moving this activity to secondary workflow file or uh, resume after delay there is option right in the property resume after delay so all those things you can use so um, uh, this is not hard and fast that you have to follow you know this is the best practice it's up to you whether you like to follow or not but uh, in your exact project but people do it you have to run the workflow analyzer before publishing it is a good practice okay uh, incomplete if right line usage okay right line so all this at least read the definitions i have taught you right you understood what they are now what you do just read through this couple of definitions and you will be all good okay make some notes of what are this at least few the important ones you should be good for the workflow analyzer so thank you guys for watching let's meet in our next content bye bye